let's continue to talk about the fluxes of vector fields through surfaces. To make it concrete, we're using the example of the radiation going through a window. And we found that if the radiation vector field is coming vertically downwards, and you have a window of area A, then the total flux of energy, the amount of heat going through the window, is just the intensity of the radiation times the area. Very straightforward. But what happens if your house has a slanting roof? So let's imagine we still have radiation coming down vertically, but now our roof is at some angle theta to the horizontal, still with the same area. How much radiation is going to get through now? Well, if you think about it, it's fairly plainly going to be less. There are two ways you can calculate that. One is to, instead of having the total area, to have what we'd call a perpendicular area. So this would be an imaginary window that's perpendicular to the vector field, the radiation, such that all the radiation that would have gone through the window will go through here. So it'd be something like that. So you imagine any radiation that's, say, going through there would also have gone through here. Anyone over there would have missed it. How big is this imaginary window? Let's imagine that length there is L, and this is the length L perpendicular, and this angle here is theta. So what we find is cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, so we have cos theta equals L perpendicular over L. So L perpendicular equals L cos theta. If you look down on this window from above, the width that's out of the screen remains the same no matter how much it's tilted. So area is length times width. So what that means is the, the area is reduced by the same factor of cos theta. So the area of this imaginary perpendicular window is just the area of the real window times cos theta. And hence the total flux of radiation going through the surface is just I times A times cos theta. Now that's one way to do it, but there is another way. Instead of replacing the window with an imaginary perpendicular window, we can break the radiation into its components. We could have a perpendicular component of the radiation. So if you've got an I there, we could have I perpendicular and I parallel. Now the I parallel won't go through the window because it's going just like so across the surface of the roof without going in. So all that we care about for the radiation that actually goes in is the I perpendicular. And once again you can work out using similar triangles that this angle here is theta. So I perpendicular is just I cos theta. So we've now got the I perpendicular hitting the roof of area A. So we get that the flux through is equal once again to I times A times cos theta. So as you'd expect, you get the same answer either way. And in real problems, you can, again, choose whichever way makes most sense to you. You can replace your true slanty surface with a smaller perpendicular surface, or you can replace your true slanty radiation with a smaller perpendicular radiation. In each case, you get a IA cos theta result.